Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I am here with a review for Updrift by Erin Stevens. And this is the first book in the Mare Chronicles. I ended up only giving it 2.5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. I received this book in exchange for my honest review in order to be part of a vlog tour that Let's Talk Books is running, so I'll leave her link down below if you want to check her out. She's amazing. Love her so much. So, without further ado, let us get started. This book follows Kate Sweeting, and after her father's death at a very young age, her mother has never really been the same, and so the two of them decide to move down to the shores, and this is where they meet the mysterious Blake family. After many years living down on the shores, Kara ends up meeting the man of her dreams, and Kate is very happy for her mother's newfound happiness. But after a while, Kate feels that her mother is hiding things from her, and she really wants to get to the bottom of things. Kate immediately turns to the mysterious Blake family, but they won't give her any answers. That is until Gabe Blake, who is her lifelong best friend, brings her into his life of sirens and mermaids. But Kate is in danger and it's going to take everything in her in order to get home and make it back safely before everything changes. As I said, I only gave this book a 2.5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. I think a lot of people would enjoy this book, it just wasn't exactly my cup of tea. I I've only read one other mermaid book and that was Lies Beneath by Anne Greenwood Brown, which I did enjoy more than I enjoyed this book, but I still think that this book is pretty interesting for people who haven't read mermaid books before because it's like a whole different take on it. I found the book to be very slow paced at the beginning, which is pretty much why I'm only giving it a 2.5 out of 5 stars, because it took so long for me to get into it that I just kept putting it down. By the last 100 pages or so, things really picked up and it got very exciting and I couldn't put it down. So that is also something to consider. It does take a lot to get into, but once you are into the story, it's very interesting. I found the book a little bit confusing at the beginning. It took about halfway through for me to actually understand what was going on in the story. There's a lot of backstory that takes place during pretty much the first two thirds of the book. So it was kind of confusing to try to figure out what was going on at the beginning when nothing was really revealed and you just had all these like random events that were occurring. But you were kind of like, okay, but like, what does that mean? I really liked how the book was broken into three parts. The first part focused on the relationship between Kate and her family and the Blake family and how that developed and then part two focused on the romance aspect of the book and then part three was where all the suspense and action took place so it was very nicely broken up but as I said before part one was very slow and I just it took a very long time for me to get into it part two I enjoyed a little bit more I think that the relationships that formed between all the characters were really well written and part three I really liked because it was where everything started taking place and all the action occurred and the ending I did not see coming so that was very refreshing. Because usually I am able to call the ending of books so easily but I did not see this one coming so that was very nice to read. I really enjoyed the characters in this book although some of them really bothered me. I loved Kara and Kate's mother-daughter relationship. It reminded me a lot of me and my mom and you know your girl loves her mama. So you could really feel the love between the two of them which I really enjoyed. I think that my favorite character was Peter. He's the prince of the mer people but I really liked how he was written. I think that he was very well done. I think that Peter was the most interesting character in the book. Kate kind of bothered me at times because she was very naive and just kind of like annoying to me. Gabe I liked but at times also annoying. And then all the minor characters like Kara and John and Carmen and Michael they were just kind of thrown into the story just to be there in my opinion. The three main characters Gabe, Kate, and Peter I thought were pretty well done. I really liked how the author chose to make her own rules up for like the siren people. I really liked learning about all the different things that the sirens were able to do and the different ceremonies they took part in and what everything meant to them. It was really interesting and a different take on what you normally see in mermaid books. It usually is like the status quo and everybody has the same stories and the same things that mermaids could do, but this author chose to make her own rules up, which I found very refreshing and it was very interesting to read about. One complaint I do have about this book, which is also why I gave it a lower rating, I think that it's more of a three star, but this really bothered me, so it just, I had to drop it half a star. I could not stand the dialogue 
if you guys watched my review of The Magician, you know that when characters talk to each other and they're like referring to each other on a first name basis every other time they talk to each other, it just gets on my nerves so much. It's like nobody talks like that in real life. I'm not going to sit there and address you by name every sentence that I say. So it gets on my nerves when authors write like that because it just, it's just not realistic to me. So personal preference, a lot of other people don't mind that. So honestly, if that doesn't bother you, then you should read the book because it doesn't bother you, but that really took the story down for me. One big praise I have for this book is the lack of insta-love. It takes like seven years for Gabe and Kate to get together, and therefore I'm loving it because I just, y'all know, your girl don't like her insta-love. So the, the fact that this book has zero insta-love is just A plus to Aaron Stevens. A plus. Just 100% love your girl. So as I said, I gave this book a 2.5 out of 5 stars. I think it's more of a 3 stars but I dropped it because of the slow pacing and also because of the dialogue. But if those two things weren't in the book, then your girl would have given it a three star, but the dialogue man brought it down for me. Alright guys, so that was my review of Updrift by Erin Stevens. I totally recommend this book if you want a new look on mermaids and sirens. It was very interesting to read about the backstory and all that jazz. And I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!